Hey guys, it's Joe at Vurinx RV Center this afternoon. I'm going to give you a quick walk around tour on the all new 2020 Dutchman Kodiak Ultralight 283BHSL. Awesome floor plan. You've got bunks in the back, queen bed up front, just under 33 feet, and it's 5,700 pounds dry. So you can tow this thing with a half ton, three quarter ton, no problem at all. So again, I'm going to go through some key features and uh, just go through the floor plan with you. If at any time you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to reach out to me. You can call, text 616-965-9605. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon. So up in the front of the camper, you've got your master bedroom up front. I'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, but right now we've got our entertainment center right here. You've got two nice big cabinets um, with tons of stores there to put games, DVDs, music, I mean, anything that you need, you can put in here. Um, up top, you've got a backer right here for your television. This camper doesn't come standard with a TV. However, it's got the mount in it so that you can put your TV up there, be able to watch um, TV on a possible rainy day on the campground, because it will happen at some point. Um, jackknife sofa right here. The nice thing about that is with just one hand, you can flip it down and uh, sleep two people easily. And then moving over to here, you've got a U-shaped dinette, which is also what they call a do-more dinette. If you wanted to, this camper comes standard with the U-shaped dinette, but you can twist the, the um, dinette here, twist it over, and actually remove the middle seat back here and actually make this a booth dinette. So you can convert it either way that you want um, because some folks just find that they like a certain booth better than another. You have the option of either one in this. Also underneath, the awesome drawer glides here for storage. It stops or prevents you from having to remove the cushions here and lift up. Everyone knows that that becomes a pain in the butt. The nice thing that Dutchman does is they create these drawers for you so that you can easily access them. So across from your sofa and dinette, you'll notice your kitchen right away. Uh, the nice thing about your kitchen is you've got a couple drawers down low um, that a lot of manufacturers don't utilize the space. Uh, but you've also got a nice L-shaped countertop, which gives you tons of space for meal prepping and just getting meals um, ready to go for the kids and the family in general. You've got a nice stainless steel sink, single bowl deep sink, um, with, which is also undermounted underneath. The nice thing about that is your water can run off easier and it'll kind of keep the mess to a minimum or the water to a minimum when cleaning dishes and things like that. Over here, you've got your Furion cooktop. It's a three burner cooktop with your oven. Uh, the nice thing about the cover is when you leave it this way, you can actually use this space, meal prep on it, use it as a countertop. But also, when you wanna flip it up, it also doubles up as a backsplash uh, to prevent you from staining your wallboard. Over here, or up top, I'm sorry, you've got uh, some cabinetry for storing your plates, cups, things like that. And then um, your microwave is also right next to it. And then you've got your six cubic foot refrigerator, which is gonna be gas electric um, with an auto switch. So you can constantly keep that running um, if you're moving from campground to campground or going home um, and ending your camping trip. So as you make your way to the front of the camper, you will, you will notice right away um, that you've got windows on both sides. Both windows do open so you can allow cross breeze in. You've also got his and her wardrobes on both sides. The nice thing about the wardrobes is they're gonna come standard with that mirror on there. Uh, so you can make sure your clothes aren't inside and out and things like that. Um, you will notice some cabinetry up top as well. Um, and then you're gonna have an accent wallboard which complements the bed really nicely. It gives you that modern touch, modern feel, almost like you're at home. And then finally, you're gonna have your queen mattress. If you're wondering why that looks like a big queen bed, it's because it is. It's a traditional residential size queen bed. A lot of manufacturers out there are gonna use what's called a camper queen, which is gonna be a little bit shorter. Kodiak goes the extra step, the extra mile, and gets you that residential size queen bed. Both um, sides on the bedroom also have pocket doors so that you can close off yourselves and um, you know, make it a little bit quieter if the kids are making too much noise towards the back of the camper and allow you folks to sleep. So as you make your way into the bathroom, you'll notice right away you've got a foot flush toilet, which just makes it easy to flush for you. You've got a nice vanity and sink there with a nice wardrobe to your right as well. The wardrobe is nice and deep. Uh, it will allow you to put nice big towels in there and uh, bathroom linens, whatever you need in there. Up top on your left, you've got a medicine cabinet, uh, which is nice and deep for putting your toiletries in there. And then on the left side, you will have your tub shower. 
The nice thing about the tub shower on the bottom portion of the shower is the fact that if you've got little ones, that they're nice and easy to clean and you can keep the mess to a minimum. About halfway up, you've got a shelf for putting your body wash, shampoo, conditioner, whatever you may need. And then finally, up top, they finish it off with a nice vent fan, um, which allows you to bring in some natural light, um, as well as a possible breeze in there as well. So as you make your way to the back of the camper, you will notice right away that you've got three bunks as well as a dinette. The nice thing about the dinette is it can be easily broken down into a fourth bed. So in reality, what you've got back here is really more of a quad bunk feel. The nice thing about the dinette is as well, if you wanna keep it up and just keep it the way it is, you can put the little ones back here. You can have them eat a meal, close the door, um, you know, keep the, keep the noise down a little bit. In the back here, you've also got a nice big wardrobe for putting their clothes and bags and things like that. And then you'll notice that on this side of the bunk, you've got a bigger bunk. So if you've got like a young teenager or just a smaller adult, they'll be able to fit on there no problem. Or just two little ones, in reality, they can sleep on here no problem. So this could sleep at least four, maybe even the potential of sleeping five people back here. So to complement the inside of the camper, the outside actually has a ton of features as well. Um, the back corner here is gonna have your outside kitchen. It's got a two burner cooktop with your refrigerator on the right side. You've got four point electric stabilizer jacks now on the all new 2020s. The nice thing about that is you don't have to bend over anymore and crank down the jacks. All you have to do is barely bend and press this button and the two stabilizers on the back are gonna come down as well as two more on the front that will go down as well. I've got the power awning out right now. Super easy to handle. It's just the click of a button to get it out. You're also gonna have LED light strips across all of the Kodiak 283s. You're gonna have the new Moride step aboves. So again, as long as your camper's stable, coming up and down these steps is gonna be effortless. You're gonna have no movement from the camper, no rocking like, again, you used to in the past. Again, two more stabilizers like I mentioned earlier, and then you're gonna have a full pass-through storage to put any and all belongings in that are too big to go inside the camper. So thanks again guys for joining me on the tour of the all new Kodiak Ultralight 283 BHSL. If there are any questions that you guys have at any time, feel free to call or text me. Again, my number is 616-965-9605. I wasn't able to go over every key feature that this camper has to offer. There are plenty more, so please don't hesitate to ask any questions. I look forward to getting you guys camping.